Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Godzilla on this day podcast. Alright, let's go ahead and let's talk about another thing that happened in the past on this particular day in history. This one has to do with something that is not well known, uh, at least when it comes to this date. Obviously, like today, for example, uh, Hiroshima, there was the first bombing for it. I'm not going to talk about that one per se, only because it's too well known. Instead, I'm going to focus on this other item, and it has to do with the notion that on this day, back in 1890, we had our very first execution done by an electric chair. For the very first time, an electric chair was used to execute a prisoner. So let's go ahead. Let's talk about all the historic information tied to this notable event. I imagine before this was carried out, the other forms of execution at the time were either a firing squad or something along the lines of a hanging or on the more gruesome side, obviously, uh, like back then uh, during the medieval times, those involving uh, beheadings. This, though, it seems like was introduced in New York, probably as another way to carry out an execution, but maybe in a more pacifist, quote-unquote pacifist way, so that way the execution can be done with the least amount of gruesomeness, I guess, associated with it. But there's always a first for everything, and in this case, this one involved in a prisoner who had to be actually electrocuted twice because this was the very first time tests were being done. Not everybody knew what the results were of the first electric chair so they had to make sure it was done twice and so this happened with in this case a guy by the name of William Kembler he was someone who was convicted of murdering his lover known as Matilda Ziegler he in turn did it a very gruesome way he killed her with an axe so eventually he was convicted found guilty and then there was an a, a, a electric chair that was introduced for this sure enough it was thought that at that time that something involving electrocution was considered to be painlessly killed. So uh, for this time period, there was the idea that there was, in 1889, what was called New York's Electrical Execution Law. This was the very first time this was enacted, and it essentially allowed the electric chair to then be created, and it was done so by the Auburn Prison electrician known as Edwin R. Davis. So he was the one that actually created it. I wonder if it's still around, if anyone has information on that, like if someone has the knows if the electric chair is maybe in some museum. If you look at it, then it's actually from his design and the notion of it is pretty simple like it was pretty much straightforward almost like it was before it was uh, uh, disallowed later on two electrodes those involving metal discs there was rubber that was covering them and then there would be a sponge that we placed on top and then one electrode would be applied on the head and then the other electrode would be applied on the back so again those of you that are fans of the green mile you'll probably remember some of those notable scenes straight from this but yes William Kremler on that fateful day August 6th that was his date to be electrocuted he was sent to the chair strapped in and then the very first electrical volt or electrical volts were administered to him for 17 seconds 700 volts to be specific were sent through his body for 17 seconds anybody that was there witnessed uh, what they what they reported as burnt clothing or, or what smell like burnt clothing and then they saw his flesh somewhat take on a more charred stance uh, but still even after 17 seconds because this was a trial by error so to speak they found that he wasn't dead uh, he was still alive not necessarily of course in a good condition but in this case he was not dead so they sent the second shock turned it up about one and a half ways to about a, a thousand and thirty volts and then this time instead of 17 seconds they held it for two minutes can you imagine that can you imagine seeing somebody being electrocuted for two entire minutes there was even so this was so long that smoke was witnessed coming out of the top of his head um, and then also that electrode that was on his back it was so hot from the electrocution that it burned through his 
his skin and it went all the way into his spine. That's essentially like um, um, how far things went on the very first electrocution. But then that was it. Um, he was obviously, of course, clearly dead by that point, and it was claimed that this was the very first successful electric chair execution. Uh, there was even uh, Dr. Southwick that was there. He stated after this uh, electrocution was done, we live in a higher civilization from this day on. And then an inventor, a notable inventor of electricity, uh, in this case or the use of electricity, George Westinghouse suggested, because afterwards when he saw that it took two tries, and in this case up to two minutes to do so, he stated in a uh, clever remark, he said, they would have been better off with an axe in terms of this first attempt of execution by uh, electrocution. So in any case, that is all the information associated with this notable date in history. If somebody knows that info by any chance where this first electric chair is, again, maybe in some museum somewhere, that'd be good to hear. Please post those comments below. So, All right, everybody. Thanks again as always. Take care. Bye.